So there's many chapters in our lives from when we have children to where we raise them, where we get a little bit older, have grandkids. Then we get into the chapter where we need a little bit more assistance as we get older with medication. There's three important aspects within assisted living. That is the care that is provided, it's the meals, and then it's the social aspect. Those are the questions that you need to ask. And then, how much is it gonna cost? And am I gonna be surprised each month with, with a different bill? So those are the, the questions that you need to ask. The other question you need to ask is about administration. If there's a problem, if there's an issue, how do those get resolved? How easy are they to get a hold of? Those are the things that we take care of here at Hearthstone Manor, is we provide a safe environment, we provide consistency and routines so that we ensure that nutritious meals are provided, that medicines are delivered when in the right amounts at the right time, and we have a social aspect so that they can come in and feel a part of a family and get to make friends with other residents. On top of having their family come and their grandkids come. And we want to ensure that they, they feel loved by the staff and by the other residents. So the three things that we strive for is compassionate care. Now, I've got fantastic staff that's going to take care and do the daily needs for mom and dad. The next one is cleanliness. I take pride of ownership. I want people to walk in here. I want them to smell and see that this place is clean. The next is affordability. I want families to understand how much this is gonna cost so that they can plan for the future in this last chapter of their life. What happens if mom needs to go to the doctor? Well, we have a nurse that's, that's on staff. We also have an, a doctor on staff that can come and see mom or dad as needed. We also have a foot doctor, a podiatrist that come in and, and help clip the toenails of these residents. We have mobile dentists that can come in. So there's a lot of services that can be offered without ever having to take mom or dad out of the facility. Those are all done in-house. You know, church services are very important for a lot of these residents. And we've got a great community that is full of volunteers that come in multiple times throughout the week to share lessons, to share stories, and just to come in and spend some individual time with the residents. We have others that come in and sing. So we cherished all of the volunteers and the love that they bring, the music and talents that they get to share. Uh, the residents just love that.